Hi, welcome back to I Love Learning Asia Learning Portal. Thank you for watching this video. My name is James Chen. I'm your certified coach and trainer. Today, I will be sharing on Chapter Two, Setting Goals, on the topic Coaching and Mentoring Skills for Leaders High Performance. The last chapter we read up, we I share with you on G R O W. The method we're going to use, or the model we're going to adopt for coaching and mentoring. So G, we're going to do G, which is setting goal. Okay. So let's look at how to set goals. A small introduction, just to let you know, uh, just to explain a bit to help you understand. Without a goal, your chances of successfully coaching your employees to better performance will be very low. Defining specific Measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-driven goals will plot a marker in the horizon that acts as your beacon. Without it, you are navigating blindly, causing frustration for both you and your employees because you never seems to make any improvement. It becomes a constant, a constant cycle of failing. A con, something which you would like not to see, something you would like not to anticipate. So, if you have a proper way of doing, then all this negative, unwanted situation will not be repeated, and you and your staff look forward monthly to achieving your quota, achieving your goals. Okay. This module will discuss setting goals with an easy to remember techniques. This is the first component of G, and let's explore what and how to develop it. Okay, so starting in the right direction is very important when you were to set goal. Coaching time is more efficiently used if you have a proper goal. Plan ahead and prepare target questions. So that you can trash it up during coaching, direct and avoid mean uh, unnecessary talk, unnecessary time wasted during the coaching time. So this is very important. The first step for the grow model is the key to the process. Setting the goal gives you and your employee direction and purpose. You will find it very difficult if you were handled if you were handed a bunch of materials and tools, and not given a, a, a clear picture of what to do with it, but were told to build to build something out of it. So the same holds true for development goals. It is not good enough to tell your employees they must improve their sales. They must do this. They must do that, without giving them a goal. What is the target for this month? What you would like to achieve? What you would like to do? So this type of goal create, or I should say, give you very targeted a situation in which everybody knows what they need to do. That's why coaching is very important. Knowing the process. Will help you, both you and your employees, have a better chance of starting in the right direction together. Coaching time is more efficiently spent once the goal is discussed in upfront. You are able to plan ahead for the session, each session when you want to coach, and prepare targeted questions that you would like to ask and you would like to explore. The coaching session is direct and avoid meandering. That means you do not waste time. You do not waste unnecessary talk. Very focused. You will come across more clear, instilling confidence, and it, you will be more clear, and you will start instilling confidence in your employees. Now, since we establish the importance and benefit of goal setting early in the coaching process. Let us look at identifying the appropriate goal area. 
which area you would like to set goals See? what goals are you working on right now goal doesn't mean must always be on your sales quota sometimes it could be something else on prospecting sometimes it could be on problem solving to reduce problem where your customer is facing your customer is encountering with your product how we can reduce it see so which area would you like to target on so what are what are you in relation to this goal that is the next thing you would like to look at and what do you think is keeping you from reaching this goal this where you will explore the limiting factors the limiting belief or are real obstacles that we need to break for we need to break through okay how will you know you reach your goal so in this goal setting in every coaching you must have a target what is the coaching session all about today what are we uh, where are we now and where would we like to achieve at the end of the day at the end of the coaching session what we would like to achieve so these are we call goal setting and also to set goals for your staff performance what are they want what are required and what is the ultimate a uh, profit that we would like to achieve for maybe this month or this quarter okay so coaching areas are very important we need to have the proper coaching area established so what are the questions we would like to ask before the coaching starts so let's have a few questions remember to write it down so that you can refer so what goals are you working on right now in each coaching session remember your first question you would like to ask what goals are you working on right now number two where are you in relation to this goal currently what do you think is keeping you from reaching this goal is it a self limiting belief what are the obstacles is it the economic situation it is your competitor so how will you know you reach your goal at the end of the coaching session did i reach my goal in this coaching session see so what are the things that need to be done so ask this open ended question and state a conversation and strike a conversation all around it with your employee and the purpose of all this is first to build trust between you and your employee if you are able to establish the trust between the two of you you able to build that relationship you are all the way going your staff we have confidence in you and your leadership skill should able to help your staff and your staff will look forward to see you for each coaching so this is important that all these uh, criteria all these uh, precondition are taken into consideration what you need to do what need to be asked so that you do not deviate and you be do not waste time in coaching make it short and sweet okay so let's look at what are the criteria of setting goal so most of us will use the best way of setting goals is using smart s m a r t what is smart smart stand for s smart stand for specific m measurable a attainable r realistic t timely okay so what is it actually let's define it a bit what is smart ask uh, what is specific sorry ask what need what's needed to be done the goal must be clear it must be stated clearly then measurable how are we going to measure to make sure we have achieved the goal and what are the milestones that we need to set to show that we are progressing so it must be measurable and attainable do not set a goal that is beyond your reach and it become very negative and the whole situation will turns awry and it was never good so we must set an attainable goal we go one step at a time and it has to be realistic has the company got the resources to help you to back you up to achieve what we want to achieve so realistic okay and timely let's set a time frame a milestone to guide you the time within this week what should we achieve within the next two weeks what we want to 
it to happen. So these are the things that we need to do. Okay, so I hope you have learned something how to set goals using SMART. So thank you so much for watching my second chapter. I hope you will enjoy it and continue. My next chapter with you will be understanding realities. Stay tuned for chapter 3, understanding the realities at lovelearning.asia learning portal. See you. Thank you.